happy Wednesday. This week I wanted to talk a little bit about compassion and then also maybe a little bit about empathy too because I think those two uh, things are tied together. So let's dive on in. If you watch my any of my other videos or you read my blog, you may know that I guess me to describe my religion, if I had to put a label on it, I would say I'm a Buddhist. Uh, I meditate and practice mindfulness and compassion and all those good things. Uh, and so because I'm a Buddhist, compassion is one of the really important uh, parts of it uh, and having compassion. And if I am completely and totally honest with you right now, um, for me, compassion was actually one of the hardest things for me to work on uh, when I started really trying to dedicate myself to being a Buddhist. Uh, Buddhist. That sounds funny. I don't know why I said Anyway, so compassion was really, really hard for me. Uh, the other one that was really hard was right speech, uh, but that get, gets easier every day. Everything gets easier every day the more you work on it. Uh, but let me talk a little bit about why I think compassion was so hard for me. Um, and I think that starts with empathy. Uh, I tend to not have so much empathy for certain types of behavior, um, especially like people that are being inconsiderate to other people or people who are being rude, or just when I feel like, hey, you're a human, you should know better and act like a human and not be a jerk. Uh, I don't have a lot of compassion for those things. Uh, and I have more compassion, honestly, for animals than people most of the time, but that said, uh, Buddhism wants you to have compassion for all creatures. And so when I started to really look at like why, I just didn't feel like I was very compassionate and I was really frustrated by this for a while. And I kind of started to realize that I didn't even have a lot of like compassion for myself and my own body or my own suffering or anything uh, like that. And it's really hard to have compassion for others when you don't even have compassion for yourself. Uh, so that's like, you know, self-care and self-love and uh, making yourself a priority and all of those things. Those, those things are important too. Um, and then with empathy, I had to work really, really hard. Um, I don't know how many years I specifically worked on improving empathy and compassion where someone would do something and in the past I would be much more apathetic and I'd be like well that's their problem that's not my problem why do I care about that and that was just kind of my attitude and then like when someone would like I would work a registered and someone would do something really um, you know intentionally rude or just disrespectful um, I wouldn't take it personally but I would just be like oh I got a dick and that would just be that guy's like just dick, eh, dismissive, they're a dick, I don't care, not my problem. And that was just my way of dealing with um, certain types of people and situations. And with Buddhism, the goal is to really um, have compassion for that other person and their other situation. And it forced me to do a lot more perspective taking where I had to like say, well, maybe they had a bad day or maybe their upbringing or maybe, you know, I had to really um, imagine myself as that other person and try to think, you know, what about what the reason that person's acting that way could be or um, just why, the whys, the motivations of those other people. And for me, I guess, and gosh, this was like less than five years ago, so I'm 30. I was in my mid 20s before I actively started taking the perspective of other people. Before that, it just never really occurred to me. I don't even know why. But now, it's um, it gets easier. It's a lot uh, more natural for me. It's a lot of work still. Um, but uh, I think I have a lot more compassion for everyone, including myself now. Uh, so anyway, that's just a few thoughts I had about compassion. You guys have a great week.